Hello everybody, welcome to Red Tool House. On our YouTube channel, we talk about all things homesteading and try to implement some of those things in our rural 100 acres here in Southern West Virginia. Well, this video is gonna be a quick one because we're actually battling daylight here. It's almost dark, uh, but what we're going to do now actually requires dark. This is something we do in the still of the night. No, I'm not gonna break into song there. <clears throat> So what we have is, uh, those of you who've been watching our channel, you know that these are our latest uh, batch of egg layers. These are all our Australorps, and they have come of age as of two days ago. Actually, yeah, September 1st, they started laying eggs. I found some eggs in, on, in the ground there. <clears throat> Tiny little chicken eggs. So uh, they've matured enough. It's time to put them in with the, with the A-team. So we're going to move them in um, after dark. We like to introduce new chickens to our old flock at dark. That seems to keep the uh, fighting a little less uh, aggressive. They still knock each other around a little bit. But we're going to get them in there. Now, it's just a simple matter of obviously uh, caging them up and taking them over. And, and we're going to wait till dark. And, and of course, all the other chickens will be on the roost. And the... Uh, Automatic door will close, all that, and of course we'll put them in there. But what we want to do prior to that, and that's why I have the in my hand, is we want to mark these chickens because these are all Australorps, black Australorps, and I already have some black Australorps that are getting a little long in the beak. In fact, they should probably be retired, uh, but we're going we're gonna to do some testing there. So with these gals, we want to mark them. And it's funny, a couple years ago, you... Um, I don't know that I ever did a video about it. I recorded it, and I don't know that I ever did it because it was such an utter failure. But <clears throat> you can go on Amazon, and you can buy these nifty, neat little chicken bracelets <clears throat> that are numbered, and they're just all kinds of sexy. Bright green, so you can see them. And uh, let's see if we can get close enough here for this to show up. Let's see if the focus will focus. So they've got a little split ring, and they actually slide into one another. Little almost looks like a little dovetail. So it slides together quite nicely. Little number on it. Um, so just like you have an inmate's number, they have a little number on them. And I think I got um, 100 or 200 of these for 10 bucks or something. Came all the way from China. And um, I thought this is really going to be great. These, uh, these numbers are gonna work out well. I'm not quite sure why I wanted numbers. It's not like I was doing any uh, uh, evaluations or work release. But uh, I thought these would work out pretty good. So I took the time. At that time, I had a little over 100 chickens. I put, so went in there and put 100 bands on 100 feet of chickens one night after dark. Just band them all in there. And it probably lasted about a week. <clears throat> Within a week, about half of them had thrown them off. Um, I keep finding them laying around the yard. Um, I, I believe there literally is two chickens that still have these leg bands on. So that was a swing and a miss. Poor man got poor ways, right? Or actually simpler is better. So with this, these are obviously just zip ties. And it's kind of funny, you go in a parts store or anything like that and you think, oh, they should have tons of zip ties. Everybody's got zip ties, right? Well, most of the parts stores maybe have a bag or two of zip ties and they're not uh, multicolored, they're all one color. And by the time you go to buy all the colors, you're like $30 in. So I found this ensemble um, on Amazon. I'll put a link to it down through our affiliate link if you want to check it out. But um, believe it or not, these are made in China as well. Uh, but three, uh, but we've got six colors of zip ties here. We have uh, 80 pieces of each of all six colors. So do the math there. That's 480 chicken legs that we can tie up. So we should be good for a while. So I'm going to have some help. In fact, sounds like my help is coming right now. Yes, there it comes now. So um, the guys are going to help me here. The boys are going to help me. We're going to tag and cage, and uh, then we'll move them over at dark. So we'll try to shoot all this. If it gets too dark, then um, we'll just make noises.
Leave them a little loose here so they can grow into them if they need to. Not too loose if they slip off. <laughs> 